Okay. Hi everyone. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning from whenever you're calling in from or watching this recording from. Hope we all had a fantastic um, weekend. Happy New Year once again to everyone. So I'm just going to jump right in, no waste time at all. I just want to make this as short as possible. Um, first of all, looking at the news, we know because um, from this Monday, everything is just going to go back to normal. You can already see a number of news releases um, happening all the way from Monday. We have the USD news. Tuesday, we have that to card news. In fact, Tuesday, Wednesday, we have a number of card news. We had, um, we have, uh, what's his name now? Um, we have the GBP news as well. Mark Khan is going to be speaking on um, Wednesday. You know, so I'm, I'm, I know that when it comes to, when it has to do with speeches, you know that you expect volatility because a whole lot of um, people will be, you know, will be anticipating, waiting for maybe um, a news, um, what's it called now, hints on interest rates increase or reduction or whatever. You know, so you expect volatility in the market when speeches have been um, been um, uh, happening uh, and, and the news. So, yeah, we'll have that on Tuesday or same Wednesday. We'll have FOM, FOMC meeting minutes. So the outcome of the meeting, we're going to see the minutes, you know, uh, release as well. We have on Thursday, uh, Jerome Powell, that's the Federal Reserve Chairman, is going to be speaking as well on Thursday. So uh, again, speeches means a lot of volatility. So just be on the lookout for, you know, um, those things in the market, you know, they would definitely impact our trade. It's good. We love those, we love volatility because then we know that market is going to move and will make money if we're in the right direction. And for some people that are not used to news at that time, we we'll expect people to just stay away, just let it, uh, let everything settle down. And then we, you can trade. So, yep, on, from Monday to Friday, we'll have a number of news releases. So, just be on the lookout. Straight up, take you straight to the charts. I'm um, just going to be looking at a few of these charts. Remember, I lost all my charts. So, all of these ones that you see here, the ones that I just cre I created um, on Friday, I presume. And I'm just looking at them again today. I would still create more, but I'm just going to look at a few of them so as not to make this. Uh, um, um, platform this um, recording um, long so that those people that will not be here when they are watching it they will find it tiring to watch they can get value from it but you know how I do it I would always look at the other pairs on the I mean offline and then send some of my um, analysis on uh or online. Um, now the truth is this: I would only look at high, I mean, high possibility trades. I don't really bother about trades that have already started. That is how I trade. I want to look for high probability trades, trades most especially from the bottom or trades from the top. Trades in the middle, I don't really bother. For instance, a trade like this, I wouldn't even bother taking this trade because it's already begun. You know. It's already begun. I won't be looking for. I need to let it get to a key level, either a key support level or a key um, resistance level before I start looking for the possibility of taking another trade. I look at this on the higher time frame. You see, um, look at this. See what it looks like. Looks like a um, double bottom here. Can you see that? Really, really clear double bottom is showing here. So what are we expecting? You see that rejection. Normal. If you if you read that naked forex, some of us that read it, some. If it breaks, if this breaks this, normally your double bottom, your the right, um, the right um, um, bottom should not close below the left bottom. That is the rule. If it closes below, you know, then you can begin to um, discard that as a valid double bottom. Yep. But if you can see it here, if you see the wick, it wicked. That was like a massive rejection of that um of of that um um yeah magic mag, massive rejection there at that level so as uh, you can see it's not closing below this level so it means it's still a valid double bottom if, even though there is a week that is longer than this um first bottom so it's absolutely still fine so i still call this is still a valid double bottom so right now what am i waiting for if you want to trade the double bottom properly you need to always enter at the shoulder of that 
um but uh that double bottom that w you know it, double bottom always i mean shows the w yeah yeah so this is the shoulder but um if you can find other levels before that shoulder to be honest i mean to be on the safe side this is the best place to take that trade from yeah wait till all of this come to the top it means that you're going to be missing all of this move all the way from here i've been missing 300 370 pips moves so yeah if you if you don't mind is in fact it create increases your chances of winning it in, created your chances of winning sorry about that i have my wife beside me um so what now i found another level here you know see this level here this is um it was a level another level where price touched and bounced touched and bounced so obviously when price price gets to those levels it will react same thing you see here if it gets to those levels it will react means it's a key level so that's the same thing that happens so right now what i'm waiting for is for price to break above that then i can look for my entry at this level i don't have to wait till it gets here before i find my entry so what i want to do now is to wait for this price to go here break above that as you can see that um drawing break above that i don't like red it's yellow so break above that and then wait for that retest to take me back take me to the upside to complete my double bottom so let's let me see that again so if it gets here and rejects that uh, not a problem it's not a problem at all if it gets here and reject that it means i'm going to take it back down here so just wait to look out look for that um that trade opportunity you find it up yep. so that's that one aud usd remember we we're trading this um long range that broke out and eventually came back down so we just want to take that opportunity clearly from the beginning i was waiting for this pair to go all the way to the upside here that's what i was waiting for you know but it got here he got not um, 30 percent of the journey and returned to the downside now give give winnings to that level and then um, give a few some of us that took also took it down here so right now i'm waiting for that opportunity for it to break above to give me more opportunity to win this trade let me see how many pips um that will be we all together if i can find an entry from here that's um almost 1000 that's 665 pips that's now if you're with a mini that's a 965 dollars or pounds with a standard that's 9600 for some people that's already your month made <laughs> in fact two months made you know so just be on lookout for that pair mm, aud card you remember this pair I was looking at it so that um head and shoulder you know happening and then that um that i don't know what happened to aud a few <laughs> a few weeks back or there it was a few weeks back or last week and then that happened yes i pretty much just pushed all of it down pushed it down all the way from here this is where we were 200 plus pips and then we made that winning so right now look at what we see on the higher time frames see we are in that range we been going up and down in that range so right now bounced off it came to that level bounce came back to that level bounced as you can see every time it came back came here it bounced went back to that top came back here again bounced although it, it came it, it got almost to the top and then dropped but eventually went back up yep and then came back to the floor and then continue so right now i'm expecting this to continue to the upside so possibly this something just happened that brought this back down you know so right now i'm still expecting this to go to the upside so that's why you see me do that so now one bias is that this is going to continue to the upside this is because this went there and did that head and shoulder return to the downside so probably two things this is just a break and this is going to be a retest of that level and then it's going to continue back to the floor here for total of how many pips 300 pips 380 pips so that's that now if that doesn't play out if that bias of it coming going to the upside based on that analysis that we saw here rejection of this level to go to the upside if that's what we're looking for then what uh trade would be be for this guy to give us an entry opportunity up here so that we can trade it 
take this to the top, retest, and then that will be our, um, let me see how many pips that is. Oh no, it's gonna destroy that. Uh -huh. So that will be how many pips, if I can find that. All the way from here to that upside, it's gonna be about 220 pips. So, so just be on the lookout, watch that pair, watch that AUD card. Um, next one, GBP, JP, I think I was looking at this for somebody. Um, yep, sent a few charts to the platform. Rejection, look at that level, key level, broke it. You know, whatever happened in the market that, that week or like two weeks or ago, there about just kind of pretty much just cut out a few a lot of things, you know. So, this now I just want it to recreate itself to become better because it, um, you know, it went even lower than what I anticipated it to go. Oh, this was the level I was waiting for it to go to based on that other analysis I was looking at, based on that. Um, this, um, what am I, let me see now. You know, remember, if you guys watched, remember my my double double um, trend line thing that I drew, if you remember it, if you remember it, if you remember that was what I was waiting for, I was waiting for that to go all the way and bounce off here, but it kind of pushed all the way here. Why did I expect that? Because of this level, that was the level we went to, got to, uh, so I expect the price to go there and then bounce. And um, you go, it went even be um, lower than that, you know, to that level. Um, this was the reason for this level was probably because of that, this level here, this levels, you know, but anyway, so right now for me, this one, um, I, uh, by the way, I'm, al I'm already in this one, so I'm looking for another opportunity to, you know, I can't remember what I'm in here with on Shark, but uh, let me see. Um, so for this one now, so I'm waiting for these levels to create. To, um, so if price continues to the upside, fantastic. All the better for me. The levels have been created. See, all this level, I'm not going to trade this. The move have already begun. So I'm just going to wait for that level to form and then I continue to the upside. And then if that doesn't happen and then price comes back to this level, then see, or it may just come back to this level and then continue. But remember what I said, your highest probability trades are trades that happen at these levels. So if this price, where it is now, you don't need to take a trade. This is where you start taking a trade, this level. When price comes here, you start looking for either a buy or a sell. A buy meaning you want a rejection or some form of confirmation so that you can take it back to the upside, the double bottom or whatever or it breaks below that, retest that level, and then you can take it. Your first TP obviously will be this first level here. You know that. So that's that one. Then if it breaks above, take it to the upside. All right, so that's um, GBP, JPY, pound yen. Uh, any other thing to look at? Yeah, I'm gonna ignore that for now. Gold, 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 yep. Gold, let me see what's happening on the higher time frame. That was a very beautiful move right there. Very, very beautiful move. Uh, we've been trading that since. So now look at what's on the higher term. I can't really see something spectacular, to be honest, really, to for, except for the fact that this was, it was a rejection and gold is going back to the upside right now. So let's um, see what we can trade here. So I was looking at all of that um, higher highs and higher lows that price has been creating. So did that, broke that, came back, retested, and went to the moon. So it's been there now. So what am I expecting? Um, I think, yeah, I was expecting gold to, let me see. I was expecting that up this level. Uh, I think that zone, I can't remember how I drew this chart. There was a zone I was expecting gold to get to before retracing. I think that was, I think that this is it. This is that one one three zero eight. That was probably the level, but uh, notwithstanding, not a problem. So right now, this is where we are. This is where we are. Let me drop it a few more pips down. Is there anything on the H4? Trade zone. Okay, same, same information. So now this is where we are now. Remember, don't trade on these levels. The reason why I'm even drawing this is because it seems like a consolidation is about to be form, um, is forming here. That's why I decided I captured it. So ignore zone is what I called it. This All of this zone was supposed to be ignore zone. 
from here to here. Then this is the trade zone. This is the trade zone. Trade zone meaning I would wait for this to go all the way up here, then retest. Wait to go all the way up here, then retest, and then I can start looking for my trade. Or go all the way, come all the way back down here, retest, and then that's where I start looking for my trade. That's why I said those levels as um, trade zones. Now, I drew this because I saw that this happening. So maybe this might be a consolidation and we love consolidations. We love when market does that, when that happens in the market because that gives us an opportunity. So because if it breaks above that, we always look for a retest of that level, take it to the upside. But if it breaks to the, if it breaks below that, it means you're probably gonna scalp because there's probably a few pips before your first TP. And then if it does that again, and you know that is coming down here. That's why your levels are beautiful. You need to create these levels on the higher time frames. So you can see them as the market moves. They will be your guiding, your angels that will guide you to know when to let get out of the market, where to get in for more positions. So that's gold, NZD card. This pair, I've been really looking for it. Uh, my higher time frame, um, what's it called now? I'm um, cipher person is still there. Cypher pattern, I'm expecting this to go all the way back to the upside. Um, so from here, some of you that know me, know how I trade. So that's um, um, 61.827 level here, and then 78. This would be where you would expect this price to get to if it's going to go up that level there, and then come back down. So you understand? So that's what I'm waiting for, if that happens. Now, but something, I noticed something very beautiful that price did last week. We, you know, it's been forming that, um, that, um, what's it called now? Some of us that know candle patterns. That, um, is it, um, oh, is it tongue? I can't remember what the name they call this, um, fox or something, you know? So that's the part, uh, it's been having that, those, those rejections there just telling us, giving us hints that it's going to come down. That's exactly what happened. And at that, and at the key level, let me see if I have, um, um, at the key level this. Okay, it actually rejected at the key level anyway. And then that happened. So right now, this is where it is right now. Um, do I have, where is, where is my stuff? No, hold on. I think this is it. I need to get rid of that um, um, because uh, it's going to get in the way. So now look at it now. This is where we at. So for now, because this has begun already, I'm not really keen on taking these trades on this side. It's um, consolidating. So my trade would be, look at why am I saying so? Because look at the level, a clear level is this level that I created here. So I need price to go back there. If I'm gonna sell, at least I need price to go back to that key level, then I'll look for a sell. You know, I can't I can't sell from here, from where it is. At least let price come back here. I mean, I can't buy from here. At least let price come all the way back to this level before I can buy or buy based on these levels. Yep. So if it comes back, then I know that it is at the key level here. I can start looking for opportunity to buy back to the upside. But if those things don't happen, then price needs to break back here break all of that. And where did I get that level from? I formed it all the way from the upside here. Let me see. Um, okay, I think I pretty much those small levels. I've picked it up from the smaller time frame, the smaller levels. I picked it up on the smaller time frame. That's why you have them in different colors. You know, okay, yeah, I think I kind of picked it up from here and I picked this one up from here, you know. But again, it may just push down a bit to this level before. <laughs> continuing to the upside, but just be on the lookout. Don't let it um, trick you, be on the lookout. So these are my two levels. I would price to break above, then I'll trade to that side or break below, then I'll trade to that side, you know, but I'll be very wary. I'll still watch this level, you know, here, see how it does. USD card, beautiful trade, beautiful trade, beautiful trade. I was really expecting USD card to take me here as far as this level. Why? Because of that, um, this, um, what was it called now? The supply level here. I was waiting for pri um, USD to get me to that top, you know, 
you know, but I for, I missed, totally missed this level here. This is, was another supply level. <laughs> you see, I was looking at this other supply level, but there was another one here. So I captured it after I started seeing the rejection. So as you can see, this is so, so clear. See, price got there, rejected and came down. Then what, what when it got, got back there, what did you see? A rejection too, and it started coming down. So you can see it, it was so, so, so obvious. You know, look at how sweet that is. Look at that sweet, see, see how sweet, you know, that's, um yeah, a supply zone. So it got there. In fact, let me, something I wanted to teach you guys. You see this, this, um this candle, yeah? This candle here, it's a very powerful candle. It's called a shooting star. That's one trick I wanted to teach us. If you find, anytime you find those kind of candles on the upside like this, Take the up and take the low. That's an example of a supply zone or a demand zone. If you see the inverse like this one now, this is an example of a of a um, this is a a hammer. This is a hammer, I think. Yeah, I think the hammer this is a shooting star. So as you can see it, you see what price does. Price came this typical example is another one here. Price came there, bounce. Same thing here. It came here, came back to that place, bounce, came here, bounce. So that's what we're looking at. So this kind of thing, I saw it on the monthly chart. I, I mapped it out, expecting price to go back there, but I totally missed. Um, that's why, because if you notice, price and it, when price got there, what did you see? It rejected and dropped. So I expected that to happen again. But yes, I wasn't wrong about my analysis because if I dropped down to my daily, I would have seen it again at this level, look at that, look at that. So that was what I missed, because if I dropped, I totally missed that. So that's why I was still expecting it to push to the upside. But notwithstanding, all was not lost. So price got there, hit it perfectly, pushed, you know, kind of pushed in a little bit. But if I had my stop loss here, I'm so free, you know, and then what did you see, that massive drop. So now because of that channel that was created, it just coincided with that channel. So what I'm expecting now is for price to come back to the floor, as you can see, maybe some form of, you know, and then because you know, definitely you're not going to expect price to just keep coming down. If it keeps coming down, all the better, you know, but definitely um, I would like to see something like this, or maybe it might even push up a bit and then before it drops down to the, downside so just be on the lookout watch out for that one if you're already here i would say find a way to move your stop loss in i think i'm already in this one as well move your stop loss in to preserve some profit or even secure the buy. i don't know what's going to happen and then we'll look for uh, opportunity to take another trade on the smaller time frame it's quite difficult to get levels to enter because they were all closely knit together you know you can, you can always find something probably just draw something around here no, draw another one here. You know, draw something here. And just, just look for something, for something. The levels are le levels. All these ones are so tiny, you know. So you can just look for that level, just levels. This comes. Um, yep, continue. Yep, continue, you know. So it's kind of thing. So it may just bounce up, continue. You know, your higher highs and higher lows are just what really helps you in the market anyway. So yeah, just be on the lookout for that. That this may just happen too. Just come all the way down here and then bounce off. But again, just pick, pick up whatever you can pick up, leave the rest to the market. So it's another sweet one here. See, if you look at it on the higher time, we can already see price came in into this level, retest, um, yeah, broke out, retested, bounced, came back, retested, bounced, came back, retested, bounced. So, and every time you, it's when it kept creating higher highs and higher lows. Um, now it's bounced off again. It's gone up, bounced off that level, that key level that it hasn't broken since 2015. You know, let's see, highest it's been to. So it went there and rejected. Obviously, it's coming back down. So now I'm inclined to say that as a double top at that level. Because at the one top, the second top. So if that be the case, it means this might actually, uh, if we are um, blessed, then this might do this retest. And then probably that's going to be like a really, really massive um, winning. You know, see that. Let me see how many pips that would be. 
we can get catch an entry all the way from there to this level. Some of us, our year is made. That's 4,334 pips. So meaning if you have a, a, a mini lot size there, that's 4,333, you know. And if you have a standard, that's 43,000 pounds or 44,000 pounds or 4,000 dollars. You know, but trust me, you know, it's not going to move in one day. So you, for some people, this can be a trade you trade for the whole year. You know, if you, if you, if you want it, just sit down, concentrate on Euro odd, Euro, you know, and just see where, how you can pick up all of those, you know, some people's uh, month, um, yearly salary is 40 um, pounds, yearly wage is 40 pounds or so $40, you know, for some people. So if you could just, you know, spend time and see if you can grab all of all of it be great. If not, it's absolutely fine. Can mix it up with some other um, pairs. But this, if this is a valid double top, then this is coming down. This is coming down. You know, uh, I don't know if I would be one that created this. Did I create this line? Okay, yeah. Let's just, let me see again. If that's my line. Okay, it's my line. Okay, it's my line. Surprised it was that long. So anyway, so that's your pair. That's your move on the smaller time frame. What are we looking at? Look at the levels. You can see the levels that are created. I created those levels for us. See them the way they are. That's that one. So this is where price is. Price may go back there for dropping, or it may just go back here before dropping but we definitely know that it's going to keep dropping we just you know it's been breaking the previous lows anytime it breaks the lows just know that it's going to the next low and everything is broken this low this lows already so obviously that's telling us that this one is not going back up so this is probably going to do this and then the downside or you see that happen the downside because it's just done done that massive drop it needs to pull back as well or it may just do that and continue but these are the few pairs that i'm going to be really looking at this week so guys that brings us to the end of this um, um analysis just let me know if you have any questions on the platform i'm going to post the recording for us to watch and um see you on the other side